Now let me show you what the Lord finally passed on this man. Let's go into Psalm 80, 82nd chapter. Psalm chapter 82. See, in order to come to all these uh, 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 truths and realization that we do, sisters and brothers, you have to read this book. And stop letting somebody teach you what they think you should know. Mm -hmm. Let the Lord show you through his word. That's why a lot of people that go to, go to church and you ask, well, why are you here? <laughs> people teaching all over in all the churches that you're going to go to heaven. You can't find that written one time <laughs> where the Lord said he's going to heaven. He's going to take you to heaven. Not one time. Well, you see, he's going to rapture us up. Well, hey, he says, no, what you're going to do is you're going to raised from the dead, you're going to be changed, you're going to meet the Lord in there. Why you have to meet him? Because he already started his descent. It's right there in the same passage. To so shall we ever be with the Lord. Nobody ever, ever asked the question then, where? He is not where he was, and you are not where you were. Where you going to be? It's written all over the book where you going to be. But don't nobody deal with the Bible. Sister. So now, this is what the Lord said to this man. And this is man. 82 and 1. Psalm chapter 82 and verse 1. Okay, read it. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. Uh-huh. He judgeth among the gods. Wait a minute now. So he standeth in the congregation of the mighty, mm -hmm. and he judges among the gods. Didn't he? That's a plural, ain't That's it? That's right. Right now, able to in God's family, sisters and brothers. The father and the son, not three. That's two. But then that's another lesson. Now, did the Father have to, even if there was a God, the Holy Ghost, did he have to judge them? Because mm -hmm. I am a two that's God, all over the book. I can pick him up from Genesis to Revelation. I never had another God to the God family before the first resurrection. So he standeth in the congregation of the mighty, and he judges among the gods. Mm -hmm. He was talking about us, our potential, what we were supposed to be. Remember now, had we not eaten of the wrong tree, we wouldn't have died. Go ahead and read. How long will you judge unjustly uh -huh. and accept the persons of the wicked? Now, how long will you do it? Did, did Adam and Eve accept the person of the wicked? Yes, they did. They sure did. That's why death came in. Skip down to verse 5. Verse 5 and go ahead. They know not. Uh -huh. Neither will they understand. Go ahead. They walk on in darkness. Uh -huh. All the foundations of the earth are out of court. Don't you know that... This man don't understand one, one solid truth that the earth is out of course. Mm -hmm. Why is it out of course? Because we ain't supposed to have no death in it, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. Ain't supposed to be no sickness. Ain't supposed to be no suffering. It's just supposed to be immortal, sisters and brothers. He said, the whole, he said, they, don't, they, know, they know not. They walk in darkness. Average person that go to church never had it in their mind or thought one time that God was creating God. That's too big for them to think about. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look what he said. Go ahead and read. I have said, ye are God. Did the Lord, what does the Lord say? I have said, ye are God. I have said, ye are God. If the God, if God I'm say you are God. God, then what are you, sisters and brothers? God. Say whatever you want, but I'm telling you what the book says. Mm -hmm. He said, I have said you are God. Go ahead and read. And all of you are children of the Most High. And every one of you are children of the Most High. That's the whole creation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. But you shall die like men uh -huh. and fall like one of the princes. But you're going to die like men and fall like one of the princes. Who's dying, sisters and brothers? We are. You are. Sometimes I say, you might not know what is. But when you throw out, start out throwing out all of the what is not, what's left, that's what is. Mm -hmm. So you look around and see who's dying. He said, you're going to die like me. And we've been dying ever since, sisters and brothers. You know why? Because Adam and Eve fumbled the ball and brought death into the picture. And we didn't make it no better. But the Lord, being merciful, he refused to be outdone, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. So he sent somebody to recover you. But then they wanted to kill him. Let's go on to St. John, the 10th chapter. St. John, the 10th chapter. See, it's not just about Israel, sisters and brothers. Like I said, Israel is a spoke in the wheel. 
you have your, your uh, 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 role to play. And we want to we become the wheel. <laughs> and there ain't no smoke. There ain't nothing but the smoke. There ain't nothing but the wheel, and we it. And don't nobody else exist. That is the idea that was put forth in days of old. And I look at television now, and I see these youngsters coming up that they discovered they Israel, and they put forth that same mm -hmm. erroneous mindset. We are it and nobody else. God is not that small, sisters and brothers. 10 and 23. This is when now, they, I'm going to show you now, they, everybody knew that the Messiah was going to come. They had seen all this stuff that Jesus was doing, and they got, and they finally told him, look, man, stop fooling around. Tell us exactly who you are. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. Go ahead and read. And Jesus walked in the temple in Solomon's porch. Uh -huh. Then came the Jews round about him and said unto him, how long dost thou make us to doubt? Uh huh. If thou be the Christ, tell us plainly. Ain't that something? How long are you going to be make us doubt? You be the Christ? Tell us plainly. The captain cast out devils. He didn't raise the dead. He didn't heal the sick. They ain't saw nothing. You understand? You walk in your house, a guy is running out the back door with your TV. You cut him off. Tell me, are you the thief? <laughs> <laughs> But he had a TV in his hand. <laughs> so how long, they asked them, sisters and brothers. Mm -hmm. How long? Go ahead and read. Jesus answered them. Uh-huh. I told you, and you believe not. He said, I told you, you didn't believe it. How is that? Go ahead. The works that I do in my Father's name, they bear witness of me. He said, I told you, my works telling you what I am. You can tell anything with your mouth, mm -hmm. but your behavior tell the real story, That's sisters right. and brothers. He said, I told you, but you ain't listening. Look at the works of my father that I'm doing. Why is it that you have not noticed them? Go ahead and read. But ye believe not, uh -huh. because ye are not of my sheep. Uh -huh. As I said unto you, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. He said, you didn't believe me because you're not of my sheep. Now skip down to verse 30, and look what he said here. Go ahead and read. I and my father are one. He said, I and my father are one. They understood that. <laughs> But then they didn't understand it completely. But they understood when he said, I and my father, why that mean we think the same way? We're not the same individual. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and read. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. Uh -huh. Jesus answered them, many good works have I showed you from my father. Uh -huh. for, for which of those works do you stone me? Go ahead. Then, G then the Jews answered him, saying, for a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because that thou, being a man, makest thyself God. He said, look, because blasphemy. Because he said, I am my father one, and he called himself the son of God. They understood that if you are truly son. See, you can be two sons, sister. Mm -hmm. If you're walking in the word of God, his spirit, then you are a spiritual son. But then in the first resurrection, you will become the real son of God. Another lesson we'll show you that. Mm -hmm. But they went to the end of it because. You said that you are a son of God. You making yourself God. Mm -hmm. Look what Jesus come back on these people with. Go ahead and read. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? Uh -huh. I said ye are God. Uh -huh. If he called them gods, unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, go ahead. Say ye of him whom the Father hath sanctified and sent into the world, thou blasphemest, because I said I am the son of God. Look, he, he hit him with he hit him with with some. He's just written in your law. And said, "I said you God." They didn't know it was really him that said mm -hmm. that. And you all the children, and the, he said, and the scripture cannot be broken. If he said it, then what are you supposed to be? That's right. He said, "So now you gonna tell me, the one that the Father sent." That I am blaspheming because I said I'm the son of God. They didn't understand, sister and brother, mm -hmm. but they understood one thing. If you're the son of God, that means you're going to have to be God. That's right. But the whole thing is the Lord sent his first, what we call, reborn son. Because he's the, Adam was the first son. You understand? Mm -hmm. Spiritual son. Except for that little glitch listening to his wife, he must have did all right because he still maintained his title as the son of God. Mm -hmm. 
So he said, look, you're going to try to do something to me because I said I am a son of God. You're going to call me a blasphemer. But who did he say? He called him gods to whom the word of God came to. That's right. And remember, Cain's children didn't deal with it. Only when Seth started having children That's right. did the Lord have it written. Then man started to call upon the name mm -hmm. of the Lord. So now, Jesus, I'm the real son.